Just down Nikki G here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to put game console emulators onto your Android phone uh, and get games without using a computer. Um, the only ones you can't do are newer ones like uh, PS3 or Xbox. There is a PlayStation 2 one in the making right now, but they're still, you know, there's, the developers are still working on it. You can get a PSP or a uh, Nintendo DS, believe it or not, off the market. However, you do need certain files to make them run. Not all games work on them, and they're very glitchy. Uh, but anything else older than that, such as Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced, uh, I believe even Atari, you can get with what I'm about to show you. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, now, the first thing we're going to need to do is go to our settings. So you go to your settings, however it is that you get to your settings, okay? And then when we're there, we're going to go into our security settings, okay? And down at the bottom here, it says unknown sources. Allow installation of apps from sources other than the Play Store. Make sure that's checked off, okay? If it's not checked off, then go ahead and check it, and you'll get the screen. It says cancel, okay. Hit okay. Make sure it's checked off. And then we're going to go back home to our main screen, okay? Now we need to go to our Google Market. So go ahead and get to your market through your app or however you get there. I just draw an M. Don't mind how cool my phone is. Um, and then here we are at the Google Market. Now you're going to need to download a file manager. If you don't already have one, uh, I prefer to use Astro. So go ahead and download Astro. Search that out. Okay, here you go. Here's your options. You're going to have a couple Astro files to download. The one that you want is the Astro File Manager slash browser. You don't want the Bluetooth one. You don't want the Wi-Fi one. You want the regular one. So go ahead and bring that up. Install that to your phone. After you've installed it to your phone, you can go ahead and open it up. Now you're going to see right here, in the, not the first window with the, that you can play, but the second window, there's a hand pointing to the left, pointing to the right. You're going to see that as soon as you open it after you accept the terms. That's just showing you some options. Do what it says. Swipe to the left. Swipe to the right. This way you get the app started. And then... <clears throat> get to the beginning here for you okay you're gonna be confronted with this screen here um, now if you happen to have two files on here you want your external SD card um, for some reason on my Samsung Galaxy Galaxy S3 it shows two files uh, you can go ahead into my files too or whichever one is your SD card okay and when you get in here you're going to have to create a folder so go ahead and go to new folder and let's call this folder um, like what emulator you want to download. So let's do Nintendo. So I'm going to call it NES for Nintendo Entertainment System. Go ahead and hit Create. Okay, there you go. Let's go ahead and open that folder up. Okay, and let's create a second folder inside. And we're going to call it. You can call it ROMs, or you can call it games. You can call it cartridges, whatever you want. Games. Let's go ahead and create that. And there you go. Okay, after you've done that, you can go ahead and exit out of everything. And let's go into your Google browser. And you're going to go to a site called mobiles24.com. Okay, that's the plural, mobiles. M O B I L E S 24.com. Okay, let's go ahead and look for that on the internet. Give it a second to load. Okay, and here you go mobiles24.com so let's open up that main web page which is the one at the top give this site a second to load up now the program I'm using on my phone is a little glitchy so bear with me I'm gonna try to show you this as best as I can okay so there's your website right here Okay, up at the top, you're going to notice it says free ringtones with a search bar. That's what you're going to want to have to touch. So let's go up and touch free ringtones, and it's going to bring us some options here. Now, you're going to notice on these options, there's going to be um, Android games, Android apps. You're also going to have mobile games, mobile apps. The one that you want is Android apps. You don't want Android games. We're not downloading games. We're downloading an app. So let's go ahead and touch that circle and fill it and hit done when you've done that. Okay, I don't know what this pop-up is here. Now you have Android apps up there. 
Let's see if you can see that. It says Android apps up there instead of ringtones. So now we can go ahead and click the search bar. Okay. We're going to put in emulators. E M U L A T O R S. Then you can go ahead and hit the search magnifying glass and give that a chance to load. Okay. After you've done that, now you're going to come to this site here and there's going to be a whole bunch of emulators here. Uh, you know, you can try whichever one you want. You're going to see one for Game Boy, for Nintendo, any of this. There's actually a few for each. You can even get the PS one here. I don't suggest getting the PS uh, emulator from here. I do have a video on how to get the PS one emulator. Uh, it's a lot easier. It works a lot better. Follow that one. You don't need a computer for it. Uh, I don't do I don't do videos for things you need computers for because I like to do things wherever I am. So you look through it and you're gonna pick a an emulator. So let's see what we got in here. We got Super Nintendo, uh, PX for Droid, no Nintendo. Okay, here's one. Uh, it's called NES OID. So go ahead and we're going to touch the NES OID one. You can go ahead and hit the blue link, which is the title, which will bring you to this page right here. Let's wait for it to load, and I'll try to bring that page up for you if it's not showing. Okay, there you go. Hopefully you can see this. You're going to see, here we go. Now, at the bottom, you're just going to see send to phone, and you're going to see download this item. You're not going to send it to your phone. You're going to download it. So go ahead and touch the download button. And you should have the link at the top of the arrow pointing down to the arrow. Okay. Download complete. I hope you can see that. But at the top it says download complete. So after you've done that, you can go ahead and exit that of everything. You're going to go over to your Astro, which will be in your app draw. Okay. Open up Astro. And you can go ahead. Now, here you are at Astro. Now, you want to get to your download. So, if you can't get there, and at any time, if you get lost in Astro, at the top where it says storage, go ahead and touch that. That'll bring you back to this screen here. You want to choose your EXT SD card, which is your external SD card, which will bring you back here. Now, you have dot download and you have download. You want download. There's not going to be anything in dot download. So, you might have to look through this alphabetically. Um, go ahead into download. And right there, you're going to see the big controller. All right. So there you go. There's your NES controller. Go ahead and hold down on that, and then it'll highlight orange. Now, if for some reason, okay, you wind up with this, everything's highlighted. Up at the top, there's a green square. Go ahead and touch that, and that'll take the highlighting off. So let's go ahead and hold down on the Asnoid, okay? At the bottom here, we have copy, move, delete. We're going to move it. So let's touch move. Okay, there you go. And you're going to have cancel, paste. Go ahead and hit the up arrow in the left upper corner. And wherever it brings you, if you're lost or everything, what you're looking for is uh, your SD card. If you happen to wind up here, okay, and you don't know what you're doing, you're going to scroll down until you see storage. So let's go all the way down to S. Oh wait. I'm trying to get to that full. Okay, there we go. So you're going to be here and you're like, where am I? You don't want to go to SD card. You want to go to your storage. When you open up your storage, you'll see your SD card. You want external. And we're going to go into that NES folder that we just created. Go ahead and open that up. Here you go. Hit paste. There you go. And there you go. Now, after you've done that, go ahead and touch that uh, Nintendo controller. It'll prompt you to this screen here, and you're going to go ahead and hit install. Okay. Um, once you've installed that to your phone, now you're going to need some games. So go ahead and install that. Go back home, and go ahead into your Google search. Okay. Now, you can go anywhere you want to get games. I like to go to CoolROM.com. They pretty much have every Nintendo game. They all work. There were a few that didn't, but now they do. Um, so go ahead to C-O-O-L-R-O-M.com. Okay. Here's your search results. Now, 
what you're going to do is you're going to go into coolrom.com, the main link up top. Give it a second to load. Now there is a mobile version for the site. It's a little screwy, but it works fine. So here you are. Now you're at the website. You're going to go into ROM files. After you go into ROM files, it will bring up all these options. Okay. We are looking for Nintendo. There's Nintendo right there. Or if you didn't download Nintendo, if you downloaded a Sega Genesis or you downloaded a Nintendo 64 or Game Boy Advanced, that's what so you're just looking for that system. So go ahead and click the system you download it. I downloaded a Nintendo. Okay, it'll jump back and forth the site. I don't know why it does that, but it does work, so don't worry. Here you go. Okay. You can browse by letter, you can browse by genre, you can choose from the top downloads. They're all on browse by letter, they're all on browse by genre, genre, you're not gonna miss out on anything. You can download whatever you like. I'm gonna go to Punch Out. This is Mike Tyson's Punch Out. This game actually didn't work for a while. Now they got it up and working. Okay, so here you go. You're gonna see the thumbnails, a bunch of stuff. Go ahead and scroll on down until you see download now. Now, if for some reason you cannot download any ROMs to your phone, it's because you have too much memory in use on your SD card. You need to delete some stuff. You need to have at least a gigabyte of memory on your SD card. So go ahead and hit download now. That'll download a zip file to your phone which you do not, do not need to unzip, okay? So after you've done that, go ahead and exit out of everything. We're gonna go back into our Astro File Manager, okay? Wherever you have it on your phone. I know my phone's awesome. You're gonna go into your Astro File Manager, okay? We're gonna go to the top where it says Storage, and we're gonna hit, hit Storage, which will bring us back to our external SD card. right here okay hit external SD card go into download if for some reason your download isn't there in the folder download then you might need to go to your phone download maybe you're downloading stuff to your phone if you can't find these things whatever the case may be copy it like we did and move it to the correct folder anywhere if it's on your phone storage you can move it through this um, so go ahead and hit download open that folder up and there you go there's your Mike Tyson's punch out and zip file there. We're gonna highlight that. Okay. We're gonna hit the move down at the bottom. Okay. We're gonna highlight it. We're gonna move it. You're gonna see cancel paste. Go ahead and hit the storage button at the top again. So it brings us here. Go into your external SD card. So it brings us here. Go into your NES file. It brings us here. Go into your games fi file that you've created and go ahead and paste that. And There you go, you can paste all your games in here, this way you have them all in the same place. Um, after you've done that, you can go ahead and exit out of everything. Go into your app draw, and look for the Nintendo emulator that you've downloaded. I actually have a different one in here. Um, it should bring you right to a screen for your games. If it doesn't do that, um, let me actually, on because if you happen to download the one that I download they're all gonna be different so be prepared okay um, just bear with me a second here I'm gonna do this maybe try to help you out um, yes I'm actually gonna install this onto my phone okay so when you open it up this is what you'll have okay when you open up the emulator now you want to know where you need to go you're gonna to have to scroll down all the way until you see where is it hold on na, 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 na. let's see let's see music news or notification pictures uh, we're getting a little weird here now up oh. There we go, okay. Go ahead and hit the up arrow. There's an up arrow at the top. Hit that up arrow until you get to the screen that has nothing but slashes after everything that's written, okay? And we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see storage, not SD card. You want storage. Tap storage. That'll bring up your SD card and external SD card. 
okay? If you have to, just keep tapping that up arrow. Tap it till you can't tap it anymore. It'll bring you to the main thing where you can scroll all the way down. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but it's going to bring you to here where it says ACCT slash catch slash config slash D slash data slash. Go ahead and scroll down until you see storage, not SD card, storage. Tap storage, and then it'll bring you here. After you get here, go ahead and hit external SD card. Okay, which will bring you here. And then we're going to scroll down to our NES folder. Oh, um, there we go. There's the NES folder right there. Let's go ahead and open that up. The only thing that's there is games. So let's go ahead and open that up. And here's your game. Let's touch it. And there you go. So that is how you install the Nintendo emulator or any other emulator onto your phone without using a computer. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, leave some comments, maybe some others can help you out. Um, keep looking for my videos and don't forget to subscribe. Look for my videos on how to do things on your phone without using a computer and just how to do things on your phone in general. Style Style Nikki G here. Till next time. Out.